Hello and welcome back to my channel. You know why you're here. You saw a cute outfit online and you want to know how to make it. Well, today I'm here to show you how to do that. So right into it, step number one. The first thing I always need is a reference photo. So the best way to get your photo is to find the person, the post, or the video of where you saw the outfit and then you need to take a screenshot or a screen recording, whichever works best for you. If it's a video, you might want to take a screen recording because maybe the person's moving too fast and they're turning around. So if you take a screen recording, you can like slow it down and see all of the finer details and things like that. Far too often, I always just take a screenshot like this and I never get the back. And I'll touch on that later why that's important. So after I have my photo, I move on to step number two. And step number two is zoom. You need to zoom in. Because when you zoom in, you'll see all the finer stitches and all the finer detail. And when you don't zoom in, that's when you'll miss stuff and that's when you'll mess up just as I did. But we all mess up, so it's okay. But you need to hit it with that zoom, zoom, zoom. Okay? So if you zoom in, you can kind of see that they did some funny extra stuff there. I don't really want it. Or maybe you want some more detail. You're like, yeah, I'm going to add some stuff in there, 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 and there. All right? And then after I've zoomed in and I looked at... On my photo i move on to step number three which is resources so what is the item made out of is it chunky yarn do i need a small hook a big hook do i need thread do i need multiple colors just what's going on here so basically as you guys can already see let me she's naked let me get her dressed so the reference photo i used used three colors and it was a pink green and white but this is where i'm always going to make my point of use what you have so I already had these colors and they were actually wrapped up into multiple projects. So the pink came from this little patch that was from my knitting machine that was supposed to go on to something else and I never used it. The green came from these mesh pants that I really, really like, but I just knew I never was going to wear them. I didn't really miss out if I took it apart. And then lastly, white. And the white actually came from two outfits. So it came from one of my hunter x hunter cosplays and this like really long dress i made this one time so that's where i got my resources from if you have yarn sitting around and you think you can finesse it really try and do that before you start bulking up on yarn and then lastly um use whichever hook is compatible with the yarn that you have um or use your favorite hook for this i used a 3.5 millimeter hook so moving on from that we have step number four and that is designing so we'll actually need to bring back step number two here which is the zoom 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 right and you need to do that so you can basically figure out how to get what's in your photo into real life right so what i saw in this photo was a simple bra top and a skirt so i actually know there's two ways to go about this so the first way would be to make the bra and then continue the skirt into the bra and just make it one solid piece or you can make the bra make the skirt separate and then stitch them together my advice is always to make multiple pieces because if you ever make a mistake in your work if they're in multiple sections at least you can save the sections whereas if you make them all in one solid piece you have to unravel the entire piece and that is not fun so that being said first and foremost i started off with the two um bra cups so these are separate so i just made two bra cups which is just a series of like triangles going around and round and round and the strap does extend from the very center and fall all the way down into the center of the back like that right so with that i made two cups and then i stitched them together and i stitched them together with single crochet in green and that's because where the dress connects it is green so it would be less visible if you use the same color that being said the skirt was very simple i just made a chain wide enough to go over my head and sit relatively nicely around my waist and then you slip stitch into that chain to make a circle and then you just crochet in the round and alternate colors so the pattern was green white pink so then i just did enough rows until i reached the length that i liked which was 32 rows this would definitely be more on the mini dress side i feel like 40 would be like a more appropriate length or like a safer length maybe i should say and i added a little drawstring and i tucked it into the center so if i pull on it the waist will cinch it's basically like an elastic. It can fit multiple bodies or it can fit the same body in different ways. Okay, so I know you guys are probably tired of hearing me talking, so I'm gonna try on the dress and show you guys what it looks like. Okay, let's go. 
So here's the final product. I know this dress was on the little bit more simple side, but you can honestly make anything from a photo. You just really need to be able to figure out what stitches are in it. But if you can't, you can really just freestyle it and make it your own and get something very similar. The tutorial for this is coming. Those videos are just way harder and longer to edit, but I'll have that for you guys ASAP. This color combo is kind of crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching that process and the reveal of the dress. That is all I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.